Hello, good morning everyone. Today, another edition with the French chef. Today, we're going to make four baguettes beautiful like that. I'll make it simple for you and I'll tell you all my secrets. So, firstly, you buy some good flour, of course. Then I use the water, lukewarm water, and I'll be dissolving a bit of sugar, a little bit of salt, and I put my little secret, a little bit of bread in powder, One spoon and just a sachet of seven grams of yeast you have to have something uh, yeast not too old huh? if it's too old it's not good same with the flour don't keep the flour for too long anyway all these ingredients you got them in your cupboard in the back so not much to buy just with 500 grams of flour i'll be making four beautiful baguettes like that very nice crispy and tender let's do it now, my friend, uh, you have to be very careful to follow my instruction if you want to make a beautiful baguette. Here we got the flour. Do you remember my sugar? So I mix up the sugar and I'll put my yeast in the water. I took a little bit of water to check if the yeast is good. We're going to stir and see what's happened in a minute. With a bit of warm water, you'll see some bubbles soon. During this time, I'll be mixing my bread improver with the flour and just make a good stir. And during this time, remember, we got the salt. So the salt now, we're going to dissolve it in the water. As you can see, the bubbles are coming bigger and bigger, so we're ready to mix the whole lot. Now, next operation, we're going to do the mix. I use the dough hook, not the whisk. Huh? Click. I'll be adding my water with the salt, remember? Right in the middle. We'll be start the mix. And just the first speed. When it be mixed, when it's from the door, I'll be adding my yeast. All you have to do is beat for just a few minutes until you have turned the ball. First, I cut a little square because it's a sticky dough and put that in the bottom. So we're going to put that near the window with a bit of sun. Now my friends, after 40 minutes, my dough has risen and doubled up in volume. Now the stretching and the folding. So I got a little bowl of water where I'll be dripping my finger like that, it won't stick. Then we stretch the dough and turn the ball each time 90 degrees and we can make six stretch and turn. By folding and stretching, you dig as the dough. Look at this, beautiful dough. I can guarantee if you do a dough like that, you cannot go wrong. You will be making beautiful baguette. Now we're going to rest this dough again another time and let it rise again. Just be patient guys. After 40 minutes, 45 minutes, 
the dough is becoming smooth and elastic. Okay, this beautiful dough now, look, we're doing the window test, it's getting very transparent. Look at that. I'll put my hand. Oh, beautiful dough, look at this. So I'm pulling, coming once, and I do more folding. Beautiful. We're going to rest it again for another 40 minutes. See, nothing left. We don't want to put too much flare, huh? Flatten a little bit, and we're going to cut that in four. Good. So we're going to flat a little rectangular and then you look at your roll and seal with your fingers. Roll again and see you prepare a little bread like that. Okay. And you let them rest on the tray. We have, as you can see now, a beautiful texture, see? And careful the side. And rolled. Nice bread, nice texture. You seal. Okay, when you seal at the end, seal with the fingers. Okay, as you can see, it's all ready. Okay, put them together. Okay, let them grow for 20 minutes. So what we're going to do now, we're going to roll in the shape of a baguette. Now what I do firstly, I spray. We're going to roll the baguette. We spray a little bit. See what you do? We just roll carefully. By stretching, and I put my baguette next to have the right side, and at the end, we make the little point like the French baguette, and we drop in a little tray. Okay, and the second one, and we're ready. I just pray a little bit. You let that rest for half an hour. After half an hour, no baguettes are ready, so we're going to uh, score them. In the meantime, you warm up your oven uh, on bake. Huh? I'll be putting a little tray, and I boil the billy to put water for the steam. Put a bit of flour on top. And now we're going to score. So you can use this one. You do the same if you don't have a, a special cutter. Hey, I prefer this one. Oops. Right, now you're ready to put that in the oven. We put the bread in the oven quickly and we got our boiling water. We got steam. We got steam. And top of the bread, up, close the door, and put the minutes for eight minutes. And in eight minutes, we'll be turning around the bread.
you've got the three colors, okay, yellow, golden, and light brown. Now, our beautiful baguette cooked all the way through with a nice, see with the scurrying, the scurr make it nice. It's not it make it nice, but it helps the gas to escape, then it won't break on the side. Okay, now hear this little noise, crunchy noise. Oh, nice. Okay, we're going to try that. See if it's cooked inside. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Hello, crispy outside. Look at the beautiful baguette. Very crispy outside and soft. It's still a little bit warm. And what I'm going to do to try it first with my own made butter. I also made a video on how to make your own butter. See the link on the top right corner. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Mmm. Crunchy, crusty outside and soft and tasty inside. Mmm. Now we're going to do the the famous French sandwich that we buy at the bar. It's called a jambon beurre. And we order a jambon beurre. Look what's inside. Beautiful. A jambon beurre, it's the most easy sandwich you can make. Jambon beurre. Butter and put my finger because I'll be eating myself. A nice jambon beurre. Specialty of Paris when you are very busy, you got five minutes to have a lunch, you go to the, the pub and guess what you got? A jambon beurre. Oh, I drop a little bit of butter. And that's... Mmm! Oh. <laughs> like in Paris. I am here in Melbourne and I feel like in Panama. Mmm! So, all this four baguette made with 500 grams of flour only and the cost 10 cents electricity only $1.20 of flour and a little packet of uh, yeast probably 20 cents that's all and you got four delicious French baguettes fresh, tender, crispy. I hope you enjoyed the program. I'll see you next time for another edition. Bye-bye. See you later.